to consider our advice we give to you, which is, at this point, crucial and would be sufficient for your channel to grow in the future. At this point, your ways of dealing with Ram really that health for Mono. I'm, I'm hearing what OC wants to do, what he wants his ending to be. What is your accomplishment in all of this? To win. Of course you want to end- uh, obviously, To win what, exactly? Just winning again. I don't care. You made a disturbance, which means the moderators step in. We don't care if you've been doxxed. We don't care. I do not want to die now because of all the arguing and it's giving me a headache. What? A lovely day to walk in the jungle. Oh shit! It's him. Shit! I knew I should have tried to make him kill himself better. Come on. A few moments later. Oh. <sighs> Somewhere out here is that little fucking bastard. Give up! I have the girls and Panzer fans supporting me. Trying to fucking kill me, eh? Trying to fucking kill me? I'll fucking show you who's gonna fucking kill you, bastard. Catch me if you can, Taffy. Fuck, 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 fuck. I L L just make it back to my channel and report him. Oh dear, it is blocked. Calvin, coming with me. How are those fake self harm marks of yours? Oh shit, you are giving me a headache. Oh shit. Looks like I L L have to try and make you try and kill yourself again. Now I am going to kick you out of the girls and Panzer community. You forgot one thing, Yozzy bastard. And what might that be? They don't call me OC Gangster for no reason at all. <laughs> You've been fucking around with this community for too long, Calvin. You were supposed to be dead. You didn't think I'd come back? Bitchube no idea who you are messing with. Alright, that's enough talking. You're coming with me. Well, shit. Well, we all knew that one day this video would be happening. So I might as well make it today. <laughs> From the moment that the Azen video was essentially made, and that I had to sort out the Azen situation about two years ago, pretty much this was already written down in fucking stone. We all knew it was going to be a matter of time before things went too far. Ain't that right? And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, you're supposed to be fucking dead. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Now, St. Gloriana Gaming College is a YouTuber in the Girls and Panzer community who really needs no introduction at all. In fact, he needs no introduction whatsoever because he thinks he is the Girls and Panzer community. And if you don't know that he's from the Girls and Panzer community, then you are in for the biggest fuck of your entire lifetime. However, due to recent events, I've decided to come forward with the truth about St. Gloriana Gaming College and how they mistreated me and abused me and how they've done it with others as well. The reason why it has taken me until now is due to the fact of the loyal fan base that St. Gloriana Gaming College has. I was too scared to say anything against St. Gloriana due to the fact that I was in fear that he basically would send his fans to attack me or basically say I'm wrong. So that's why it's taken so long to actually for me to come to this decision despite it happening potentially two years prior to this. Now I'm not a huge person of cancel culture. However, St. Gloriana has not been how do I say this? Improving over the years, uh, as a human being and as a YouTuber. And that is why I've decided to take it upon myself to create this video to attempt to make him a better person in society and life and basically be a British gentleman like I am because of course gentlemen do not act the way in which he does currently. In terms of his ego over the years and his mistreatment of others, 
He has not been improving whatsoever. In fact, we've had, as we can clearly see, we've had a complete opposite of this. In fact, his ego has been growing in size since and also his mistreatment of other people. And the actual general fact that he basically thinks he can fuck around with people and not have any retaliation whatsoever. Ain't that right, Calvin? Hopefully, St. Gloriana will watch this video to learn to be a better person in life and to also warn any potential people who are considering working with St. Gloriana in the future. Just a fair warning, because I have had experience with him and I have worked with him and I've known him for years. So really, I kind of do know what I'm talking about here. Since a while now, me and St. Gloriana have had some beef here and there, you know, since he banned me from his Discord server, which was February of last year, due to being doxxed by Blake and we all had the Blake situation, which we're gonna me and the Azens, you know, and of course I had to clean up the Blake situation, very similar to how I had to clean up the Azen situation for St. Gloriana, because that was a complete fucking mess. And obviously we had a peace deal in place. However, St. Gorana broke this peace deal when he decided it was a good idea to ban my ults, which were there to keep an eye on him. I mean, the ults weren't fucking doing anything. That's the irony behind it. The ult account's job was to just observe and make sure that you were agreeing to your end of the deal, which was to stop any potential shit from going around, which you obviously recently have broken. But the funny thing is that the alt account wasn't doing anything at all and it was due to your fucking stupid decision making skills that you actually fucking caused this video to be made and all this shit to come forward which I find quite actually ironic. Now, over the time, many people have attempted in the past to take down St. Gloriana Gaming College. Pravd has done it, he's tried it, Devis has tried it, Blake has tried it, and a few other people here and there. Even his own staff have actually tried to take him down, but unfortunately, they don't have the position necessary to take him down. A lot of people, they would either go past the point or they would sort of say like a fuck you to him, but they wouldn't actually have the balls to go in fucking nine inch deep in his ass. However, in the end, despite every single time that Sengoyana has faced some criticism, he has always managed to get away with it, regardless of what it could be. Hell, when he was recorded to masturbate in a VC with a 15-year-old underage child, he somehow got away with that even. And that's the funny thing, no one ever brings that up. No one ever brings up the fact that he masturbated in a VC with an underage 15-year-old. And I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, but OC, pretty much, everyone can just throw the pedophile card, which is true, everyone can throw the grooming child and the whole pedophile card, which is true, which is true, which is true. However, if you watch my Blake video, which I did, a while back, you may notice this bit. 19 or 20 odd, and he masturbated in a VC with a 15 year old. And when I was in VC with Blake back in 2019, during the Azen situation, when I was making the Azen video, and I spoke to Blake, and this, this was after me and Blake broke up, he said this about St. Gloriana. Alright, so last night, after the incident with Devis, I was talking to Orange Peco of St. Gloriana's, which, I'm sorry I'm saying this, however, if Rose told you to grow up, then Rose should should really grow up himself because you sh you're not he's 19 or 20 odd and he masturbated in a VC with a 15 year old. Yes, I've said that and act you can even if you're on Discord and you know Orange Peco St. Gloriana, you can even ask him. So Rose, if you see this, fucking stop being a perverted little bastard. Fucking talk, stop telling OC to grow up because he can do what the fuck he wants. Saying, like, you've ruined, you ruined, uh, Mr. Blue Sky anyway, so, yeah, go fuck yourself. So, yeah, there we go, that is proof, there's a lot of dirt on Rosa that I also have. Right. So, if Rosa wants to do anything, he can fucking talk to me. Right, okay. And obviously, I didn't originally believe this, because, obviously, I had the same mentality, I believed that it's easy to throw around the, pe to throw around the pedophile word. There's no way that this guy could do this. You know, it's quite easy to just say, oh, he's a pedophile, or, oh, he sexually groomed the child, or, oh, he masturbated in a VC. It's very easy to throw this word around. However, I found out about a year later that this is actually true, that this event did actually take place and was indeed recorded on YouTube, where it is in an unlisted video at this moment in time. And this recording was brought to me by the thanks of Peko, who gave me the evidence and all the screenshots necessary to actually 
prove that this event did actually indeed happen. And if we actually watch the video, we can see St. Gloriana, also known as Calvin, make a remark about coming three times. That's it, I can't do, I can't do a third. <laughs> Link will be down in the description. But oh see, this happened ages ago, so it doesn't count. No, it doesn't necessarily work like that. Criticism doesn't work like that, okay? The thing is, if you fuck up in the past, like groom an underage child and masturbate in a VC with them, you can be criticised for it. Regardless of context, you can be criticised. But that's enough about that now. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be telling you the truth about St. Gloriana Gaming College and the experience that I have had with them. And I know what people are going to say. People are going to say, oh, see, this is just going to be another hour-long rant video. It might be that, but there's one thing that makes this very fucking different than the other ones. We've got an actual official anime opening. Gotta get these men a drink. Everyone else go home. Now, I want to talk about this point of the video as a fan. Because before I was a fan of St. Guyana and his work, you know, yes, I did look up to him and he was a great person and all that. But I want to talk about this point as a fan because me and the other fans want to know what the fuck happened in the 20k Shenshido tournament giveaway that I will be hosting Senko on a tournament yes now the thing is the entry for the tournament will be closing this Friday you see for first place you can choose between 5,000 golden eagles or you can choose one of these shirts that I've made either the Padaru Rose Hip or the Rami Hippo t-shirt you promised me, and a ton of other people, a fucking Rosip t-shirt. So where the fuck is it? Who the fuck won? Oh wait, that's right, you cancelled it before it was even finished. You lied to your own fan base, and you promised them rewards which they never received. Not only that, but you also rigged this tournament for yourself. You made the rules to benefit you, and you took part in your own competition to give you a better chance of winning your own tournament. And the fact is, the team that you picked was your own team that you used in your Shenzhou match against me and Pravda when we had it back in like 2018. You knew that your team was gonna win this goddamn tournament. Even though it wasn't finished, it was already rigged from the start. Now when I do my 10k giveaway, I'm actually going to do it. I'm not gonna fucking lie to my own fan base and fucking take advantage of them. I'm actually gonna do it, and well, it might be 15k actually, but and because of goddamn amount of subscribers and all that stuff. But the fact is, it's gonna happen, and I'm not gonna put my own name into the fucking hat to basically sort of say like, haha, I've got a chance of winning it myself. And you still have no winner from that tournament. 
Not on YouTube, not on Twitter, not on Discord, not on fucking Amino Apps even. Nowhere there is a winner for that tournament. Also, this was a public competition. Which I kind of live stream privately, but don't tell St. Floriana that I told you guys that. And obviously, due to it being a public competition, there's going to be a public winner. There is no need to keep any of this info secret, okay? And if there is one thing that you shouldn't say, and that is something along the lines of I'm not going to publicly announce the winner because I respect their privacy. I'm coming. Uh, uh, uh. Right, I never heard of you. And then I did hear of you, some little Diddy Kai Razor gang. I thought to myself, so what? But then you fucked me over. So now you have my undivided attention. Right, he's the eldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you, cos you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. Which one am I talking to? Which one of you is the boss? I'm the fucking boss, OK? Right, end of parlay. You fucking gypsy scum. What live off the war pensions of these poor old Garrison Lane widows? That's your level. I am Billy Kimber. I run the races, and you fixed one of them, so I'm gonna have you shot against the post. Now, I have nothing wrong with money. In fact, it's fine with money. But the problem is when money becomes all that you care about. That's when it becomes a problem. Whether it be re-uploading a video because it got limited views, or opening an OnlyFans in the hope that somebody buys a subscription to your latex suit thing that you have so that they can go and fucking beat it to your ass cheeks. Now you may say that this isn't true, that he doesn't actually care about money that much and that, you know, he cares about the community and all that, yada yada yada. But if we look at our comparison of our channels, we can see a huge difference. Whilst I rely on YouTube revenue to fuel my channel, St. Gloriana relies on the use of his actual fan base and his community to help fuel his channel. His satisfaction for getting money doesn't just stop there, because the fact is, he even opened up his own merchandise store, where he sells overpriced t-shirts and stickers. And the thing is, they're not even fucking good stickers. They're fucking awful stickers. And also, if you had a choice to choose between St. Gloriana merchandise or official Gills and Panzer merchandise, I'm pretty sure I know what you guys would pick. Would you rather spend $30 on a Darjeeling figure or $25 on a fucking t-shirt? I know which one I'd pick. The thing is that he's even willing to stoop low enough to sell his body on OnlyFans. In an attempt to get money, which he did previously mention on YouTube, so about prostitution, I'm not really too sure. If you don't continue your YouTube channel, what job would you like to do in future? Um, prostitution. He relies on a lot of his community to fund his personal issues in life, such as the time when he basically decided to pull initial D and basically completely fucking destroy his little shitty Suzuki car. And the thing is, when he fucking completely destroyed his car and wrote it off because he broke several actual laws of the road, which was driving over 10 kilometers extra the speed limit, and obstructing your rear view window with fucking plushies, and basically overtaking in a no overtake zone, which caused you to crash, the fact that you broke three fucking rules, pretty much goes to show that you don't deserve that fucking money, despite the fact that you go and plug your Patreon page in the fucking news of you crashing your car in an attempt to get it replaced by your fans. Now, the only time when comparison me when I actually asked my fans for money was actually during the VE Day 75th anniversary Royal Navy funded walk that I went on. Well, it wasn't actually a walk, it was more like a run of fucking death and masochism at its finest. But that's besides the point. But the point is that I still did charity work and I asked my fans for money. In fact, recently I have even continued with my charity work as I'm currently doing a 10,000 step sponsored walk to retrace the steps of D Day for the RBLI, which is a veterans charity for British veterans. But I'm not going to beg you guys to give me £10 because I've already reached almost the target that I need for the charity walk, so I don't need any money guys, so you're perfectly fine by that. Also by the time this video will be up, it will be over, so there's no point. Also, if we compare our crack videos, we can see a whole new different motivations between them. Sanguana makes the crack videos for money, and you can say that, well, that's not true, he doesn't make the crack videos for money. You can say that Sanguana doesn't do that. However, 
The fact that he did a one hour crack video and then he uploaded it, which was basically just a combination and mishmash of all of his previous crack videos, all put into one big crack video. And the fact that it got hit with several copyrights and that he basically took out those sections of the crack video to make sure it got past the copyright goes to show how much he cares for money. You could argue that it wasn't, but the fact is that the video is about an hour long, it's the exact same footage, and that this video is indeed monetized and has no limited ad problems or has no copyright problems goes to show it. And the thing is, it was twice that I did these compilation videos and it's the exact same fucking shit in the videos. And it just goes to show how much he cares about earning that sweet YouTube of revenue money. Not only that, but he also mass produced his crack videos and he shoves in a ton of dead memes into those crack videos, as we can see. You know, pretty much it's like being a fucking dead horse at this point because there is literally nothing content ways left in Gills and Panzer with the crack videos because it's just milk the fuck. Literally, one of the cracks was just one scene with an angry German kid dubbed over it. Another one was just Top Gear memes. Another one was Mark the Week. Mark the fucking week, out of all things, and one was even Soviet Rumble. Now my crack videos, however, aren't mass produced, and we can see this with the Azalane crack series that I did. Now I could've, because I was the first person to do Azalane crack, I could've absolutely went fucking poontang with this shit. I could've just mass produced a living fuck out of those Azalane cracks, but I didn't. Instead, I slowed down, I made them better, and each video, I found ways to try and make them better. I made them better, I made them longer, and I basically decided to prioritize quality over quantity. And you can look at it because my Azalane Crack 1 isn't as good as Azalane Crack number 9. And everyone says that Azalane Crack number 9 is the best. And if you don't believe me that I prioritize quality over quantity, who has the best crack segment in that potential history video? It's the Banzai part, isn't it? The bit I did. The Banzai bit. You know it is. You know that's the best crack segment. You know it is. Now, if you notice about my channel, the first crack video that I ever made was Kantai Collection Crack number one. Which was some time before St. Gloriana did his crack video. Yes, that is right, people. I did started making crack videos before St. Gloriana did. In fact, two years before St. Gloriana uploaded his first crack video, I had three crack videos already out. So yeah, that's a little fun fact for you. So please don't say that he fucking inspired me or I copied him, because I sure as hell fucking did not. But if we look at the reasoning behind it, it's actually quite that simple. You see, because I made my crack videos, because I enjoy making them. I enjoy making them. I put time and effort into making them. It takes me on average 1.5 weeks to make one crack video, while St. Gloriana, it takes a day to make a crack video. Yes, he has told me and bragged to me that it takes him a day to make a crack video. And the interesting thing is that I make them because crack videos don't just make me happy, they make the community happy. Because I care a lot about the Girls and Panzer community. The Girls and Panzer community can fucking chase me with pitchforks and all that shit, and I know that they fucking hate me. But the fact is I still make the content because I know that some people in the community will still like that content. Regardless. But the thing is, I didn't just do this with the Girls and Panzer community. I did this with Ken Coley, and I did it with Azalane and Strike Witches, Project Blue Steel, High School Fleet, Technically Helsing, and Yojo Senki, a tiny bit. But of course, when I turned up onto the scene making Girls and Panzer Crack videos, St. Gloriana did not see me as a friend as I thought he would see me. Instead, he saw me as a threat to him and his channel. And if you don't believe me, then why didn't he stop making crack videos when he got to 20 like he said he would? He still continued to make Girls and Panzer Crack videos past 20. Because to him, it's plainly simple. The crack videos are an infinite money-making machine. Mr. Kimber. I admire you, Mr. Kimber. You started with nothing and built a legitimate business. It would be an honor to work with you. Nobody works with me. People work for me. Pick it up, Pikey. Sit. Sit down.
It's for your ceiling. Thank you, Mr. Kimber. Now, we're going to talk about the drama situations, which a lot of you are here for. Also, notice how I said situations, not situation. Now, St. Gloriana has had the fair amount of drama in the past, but luckily, it's not a lot of drama, actually. You know, we got Pravda. Well, we had Pravda about three times. <laughs> we had drama for Pravda. Then we had Devis, Blake, All Stars. And I'm pretty sure Toko as well in the middle of that. And there are obviously more people, side people, but of course, you know, we'd be here all day if we were naming all the dramas that St. Gloriana has been involved in. Oh, you didn't know that he was in a lot of drama, did you? Well, allow me to let you in on a little secret. You know the Blake and Azen shit that I went through, and those dramas that I went through, isn't it a bit suspicious that St. Gloriana is involved in both of those dramas? I know what you're going to say, you're going to say, but St. Gloriana told me that he wasn't involved in those dramas. Yeah. Of course he's going to say it. <laughs> Simple. Well, if you remember the Azen video that I did a few years ago, you might have a notice at what I said about St. Gloriana here. What's happened was that I got into an argument with a YouTuber you might know called St. Gloriana Gaming College. And basically what happened between us was that we just we just had an argument. Don't go after Rose at St. Gloriana, don't go after them. This is something that we're gonna sort out ourselves. We had an argument, um, and I wasn't very I was I w I was very affected by what was said to each other and the argument got to me and the problem is this one hasn't been sorted out. And then I thought, okay, best bet was to leave him. I left him alone. And then I came back to him to go, because I needed to go into his server to get pull out some evidence, just 10 minutes in, 10 minutes out. And what's happened is that, again, another argument happened. And, and I've been accused of uploading something to an adult website, which I haven't. But apparently I have, because I don't know. I don't know why I've been accused. But long story short, I wouldn't do something like that. I generally wouldn't do something like that, because I know, because I've not well, stuffed myself, so I wouldn't do that, because I wouldn't want that in return, if you know what I mean. Really, if I would, if I did have a problem against Rosip, just make this clear, I do not have a problem against Rosip, I respect Rosip, I have a lot of respect for him, I've been trying to help Rosip out, but I, I, I don't know. Like, there was a time in which he lost 500 subscribers. I put a community post on my channel to get the subscribers back from. But no, if 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 I ever did, like, if I ever did an argument, had a full-on hated Rose up, I wouldn't upload that. I would have just done a diss track. I know that sounds stupid, but... And you're wondering, what's so bad about that? I mean, you know, he, he, you just said that he accused you of doing something and yada, yada, yada. Context, people. Context. Well, here's the thing. St. Gloriana said a little bit more than that. And I actually held back against St. Gloriana in the Azen video because I didn't want to actually have any drama with St. Gloriana over the way in which they mistreated me during the Azen situation. The stuff that St. Gloriana said to me. The fact is that St. Gloriana did a little bit more than pretty much accuse me of something. Firstly, I tried to get Azen out of the St. Gloriana server, and I know some people are going to remember, but the fact is, if you, with hindsight, we all know about these things, we all know about the Azen situation, we know about how bad Azen was, and, and all that stuff, and how he started off the drama, but I got the blame for it. And what happened was that, basically, St. Gloriana allowed him to stay in, then I got the blame from St. Gloriana for the Azen situation, because apparently that was my fault, that I started, even though it wasn't involved in me, it involved Reza for originally, but no one takes him into account, because, of course, He's irrelevant to most people's standards, you know, because he's a nobody, but obviously I took him into account because he's not irrelevant. He's fucking important to the whole fucking situation. And then St. Gloriana said this horrible stuff to me. He said stuff like this to me. And you would think, oh, well, Osi doesn't really care about him being said that to him. But the point is... I did care. I really did. Because to have someone who you see as a friend 
say that shit to you and to treat you that badly and to say that horrible stuff to you, it fucking hurts. It really did fucking hurt me. That's the truth. But St. Gloriana, and the irony is that St. Gloriana knew that this stuff was hurting me, and he continued. And then what he decided to do was that he decided to address the drama, because, of course, he knew that he was having a negative effect on me, and he knew his cousin shit, and basically I was going to quit YouTube because of him. The thing is that he, people, when people asked him about what was wrong with me, and why I was not happy, he said that he wasn't involved... He didn't have a clue. He basically it is a fucking segment that he said. People are asking what happened to OC Gangster. I have no idea. Alright. It's not my fault. I have not done. I have no idea what's going on and whatnot. I'm saying it's not my fault because, well, I have no idea what is literally going on. Um, I don't really care at this point about drama and whatnot. I'm not really. Uh, if you want to talk about it, I mean, do do it do it somewhere else. I don't don't do it to me. I, I I would rather not talk about it at all. If it's something in relation to OC, I'd rather not talk about it. If you want to take it up with him, go for it. Just don't do it with me because I I'm sick and tired of all the drama and whatnot. And this was the shit that someone was saying about me, who I saw as a friend. The thing is, I even went to Saint Gloria and Phelps and. Obviously, St. Goriana does argue about what definition of help and that. Basically, I went there for a bit of support, a bit of, oh no, don't worry, you can sort this out. Not a, not a fucking, I'm going to clean up the situation for you, it's just a case of, oh, don't worry, pound the back. You can, you know, you can do it, keep at it, boy. I didn't get any of that from St. Goriana. I got a simple, fuck you, you're the problem, you fucking cause this shit, end of story. And then when I fucking ended the Asian situation, when I came forward with the truth, and actually all this shit came forward, St. Gloriana thought he could just fucking sweep all that shit under a rug in the comment section. And he still, to this day, denies being involved in the Asian situation when he was one of the fucking key players in it. If he had just listened to me in the first place about Asian, then pretty much I wouldn't have had to make that video and pretty much I wouldn't have to probably make this video on him right now. Also, would a friend really say this horrible shit to you? And also, accuse you of uploading videos of them to fucking Pornhub with the only evidence being that you're friends with someone who they don't fucking like who has the link to the Pornhub video and still to this day St. Gloriana hasn't actually openly said or admitted that I wasn't the one who did it the fact is by that right he still suspects me of being the one to upload that shit oh you didn't know that well, St. Gloriana is very controlling over who you can be friends with. He's controlling with his moderators with who they can be friends with. He's controlling to anyone who they can be friends with. He was very controlling over me, over who I could be friends with. And pretty much this was shown present with Devis. Because St. Gloriana had beef with Devis when I did not. I don't know why St. Gloriana had beef with Devis, but he just did. As in, like, he fucked you over, didn't he? I mean, yeah, a long time ago, but yeah. I don't know how. How did he fuck you over? He turned the entire. He turned uh, most of Ghost Division's uh, people against me. Ah, right, okay. He infiltrated Ghost Division. Right. He said, hey, I'll join your group. Because we beat him. Pretty much fair and square, and he pussied out. Because all his people left. Because they were getting smoked by a bunch of actual tryhards. Right. Um, like me. And, uh, what ends up happening is, uh, he joins. Uh, so we have the original log. Pretty much after G and Ghost Division went downhill. Because we just couldn't get any matches. Alright. Now, Sanguarana wanted me to cut ties with Devis, and he did this probably one of the best ways possible, which was when he threatened self-harm towards me if I refuse to cut ties with Devis. And this is actually true. He has done this several times with his moderators, he's done it with his staff, he's done it with people pretty much quite a fair amount of times. And he obviously used this against me. He threatened me with self-harm and pretty much I did what he told me to do. 
I didn't do exactly, because he wanted me to block Devis, and I didn't block him. I unfriended Devis, so he couldn't speak to me. He could only speak to me if I accepted a friend request from him, because, you know, I saw no reason to block him. I saw I held no prejudice against him for any reason. You know, there was nothing wrong between me and Devis. It was between St. Goran and Devis, and St. Goran did not like me being friends with Devis. By the way, this wasn't the first time that he has done this. Um, I mean, he does do this kind of shit all the time with his own Discord staff, and where's your evidence of this? Well, Crom Wellington, because Crom Wellington was an admin, even though I can't fucking stand that English cunt. Crom Wellington was an admin of St. Gloriana, who did a lot of work for St. Gloriana, and basically he wanted to leave, and St. Gloriana did not want Crom Wellington to leave, so St. Gloriana did threaten Crom Wellington with self-harm if he left. And what happened as a result was that he threatened Crom Wellington with self-harm, and Crom Wellington left. And when Crom Wellington left, Calvin, St. Gloriana Gaming College, did jack shit. Which I find fucking disgusting that you don't even have the balls to fucking do it. You even did this once because you wanted 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. When Blake was giving you fucking shit, and I was trying to control Blake, and I was trying to help you out, and when you were fucking going losing the plot, and you, I thought you were gonna fucking do something, like cut yourself or fucking try and commit suicide because of this, and I was trying to fucking keep a grasp of Blake, and you had just scuffle with Blake, you fucking used this opportunity to try and basically say, Oh, I'm depressed. If you guys give me 100,000 subscribers, I won't be depressed. And you even put it in your Discord announcements, which is still there to this day. But the thing is, the irony, the hypocrisy, the irony and the hypocrisy comes when I played this exact same card with St. Gloriana. And everybody knows exactly what I'm fucking talking about, which is the time when basically I said to St. Gloriana that I was gonna self-harm if he didn't do what I said. And the thing is, when you actually did cause me to self-harm, because that is what happened, St. Gloriana caused me self-harm. I'm just gonna repeat that again, so that people know that St. Gloriana caused me to self-harm. The thing is that when you did it, when you did, I fucking actually did self-harm. Unlike you, I fucking did it. And the thing is, the thing is that when I did do it, the problem that you did was that when I self-harmed, you instantaneously went into denial because that's what people will do. When when people cause other people to self-harm, they'll try and deny it. So what they'll either do is that they'll either shift the blame off or they will deny it. And that is exactly what you and your staff team did. You basically denied me self-harming. You pretty much said that I was faking it. In fact, one of your guys who caused me to self-harm by the name of Kawaii Artist, yes, that's right, I'm bringing Kawaii Artist into this again. Let's mention his name as many times as possible. But the fact is, Kawaii Artist caused me to self-harm and what happened was that Kawaii Artist made a video of jam on his hand to show to everyone and say, it's just jam. He used jam, which it is correct. It is correct. It is indeed jam. As we can see in this picture, it's jam. As you can see in this picture, it's jam. And this picture, and this picture, and fucking all of these pictures. We can see that it's clearly jam. And I'm not being sarcastic at all, because the fact is that you caused me a lot of fucking harm, and the point is that you're trying to fucking sweep it under the fucking rug. The thing is, you don't even take credit for your own work, you try and deny it. And when I tried to kill myself in front of everyone in that live stream that we can all see, you denied it. What did you do? You basically denied it, you said you had no relations to me whatsoever, you tried to sweep it under the rug, which you can't. And the thing is that you can't really do this, you can't really deny it, you know, you can't say that you're not involved, because here's the thing, if you masturbate in a VC with a 15 year old like you did, because I just want to make sure that everyone knows that you did, again, just for some emphasis on it, when you masturbated in a VC and sexually groomed a 15 year old who is underage, you can't just deny it, you can't say, oh well, no, I'm, I, I have no relations with this person whatsoever, so therefore, fuck you, no. You're meant to own up to it and say, yes, I fucked up. And the thing is, you won't even admit that what you have been doing is wrong. You took no action to prevent it, despite the fact that you could have prevented it. And the irony is that when I thought you were going to self-harm, I took everything, every single 
fucking opportunity I had to prevent it. And you know what? I wasted my entire fucking time because you had no intentions of self-harming. That's what I find fucking disgusting. And I know what some of you are going to say. Some of you are going to say, Oh, but OC, OC, he didn't cause you to self-harm because he didn't make you self-harm. Which I know, which is, a, which is a very good argument. A very good argument. And very good argument to put that. However, the thing is, I'm very socialistic towards my views. Okay? I may be a nationalist. But I am do hold socialist views, I believe, you know, equality and all that, you know, and, you know, I guess you could say I'm a national social... never mind. But the point is that I believe that equality for, you know, everyone. So if one rule applies to one, then it applies to another person. That's what I believe. And some will argue that he didn't cause me to self-harm, and that's a good argument. To which I reply to that argument that he didn't cause me to self-harm as Zara. Am I right, Kawhi artist? Now, I just want to talk about this real quick. Because, now, Zara was someone who I was blamed for causing them to self-harm. Um, obviously, Kawaii Artist does deny this, but the truth is that this screenshot fucking proves otherwise. And pretty much, I was blamed for Zara's self-harming. And Kawaii Artist didn't believe me that I tried everything I could to actually prevent her from self-harming. This was a point that I had to bring up because it works in sort of like this fucking circle, this sort of fucking hierarchy shit. And basically, pretty much, a lot of people argue that, you know, this shit. Basically, pretty much, I get blamed for someone else self-harming, even though I tried everything I could to prevent her from self-harming. And I mean everything, because if you actually look up some of the stuff, which I will talk, I'll talk about this situation another day. But the point is that people say that I caused someone to self-harm, but St. Grand didn't cause me to self-harm. Okay. 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 And I know some people are going to say that St. Gloriana did not cause you to commit suicide. I know. I need to present some actual evidence to say that St. Gloriana did try and cause me to commit suicide, which I do have the evidence. I have a dispatch form from the Salford Royal NHS Trust Foundation Hospital. Oh shit indeed, because of course if we actually know about what happened, um, I did a live stream where I got incredibly drunk and I came up with a plan to commit suicide. And pretty much my plan was to, it was my second suicide attempt, and um, my plan was to, um, mm, it was to overdose on, it was to drink alcohol and medicine to try and overdose. But instead, I ended up, ended up going to the hospital for other reasons, actually. That's the price. But my friends were there. My friends were there. My friends. So, yeah. But anyway. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Um, well, let's get this just done out of the way quickly. Um, so, basically, I got a summary of, from the dispatch form. A summary of treatment, the diagnosis, and discharge advice. And it stated, deliberate self-harm, two-face, and forearms. Attempted suicide, alcohol intoxication, and no, no previous mental health or mental health uh, medication um, causes uh, due to cyberbullying and recent breakup in relationship. A written name of Saint Gloriana Gaming College. This was the interesting bit. Written name of Saint Gloriana Gaming College and ex uh, ex girlfriend. I'm not going to say her name. In suicide note, because I wrote a suicide note and my friends gave it to the hospital and it had St. Gloriana's name written on it. And it says Salford Royal NHS Hospital and it's, it's, it's a full dispatch form from the doctors. Because I was, yeah. Surprisingly though, they didn't actually give me any medication because they ruled it, it was due to alcohol intoxication. And well, was, so that was, uh, well, was quite surprising, actually. In case... St. Gloriana does try and get out of this. What I have here is a pretty much I'm betting my entire life on this plan that I've got in motion. And this video is just like the second part of the plan. There's like four parts in general, but this is the second part. So I don't think it's just one video, mate. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, so you know, you're gonna say that you didn't want me to do it or some bullshit to save your own skin. Because that's what you're gonna do, St. Gloriana. You're gonna do that. But let me tell you something. Now, this isn't the first time that this has happened with a YouTuber. In fact, this has happened before. Let me show you this clip right here. The reason, even when I hated you, I never spoke against you because I said I want to speak to him in real life and have a face-to-face -face conversation. What I'm saying is that hate 
I'm just telling you as a man at 28 years old what I feel. You made me want to commit suicide last year. I wanted to kill myself because of all the attention you gave me. I rewatched videos going viral after the attention you're giving me now of you saying, Boosie is the biggest piece of shit, egotistical asshole on this earth. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself. Now this YouTuber here is FuzzyTube. And if you don't know about you, he's a bit, he's a bit weird, a bit crazy, but he's a YouTuber, quite big. And what he's addressing here is that he's actually addressing Keemstar in this clip right here. This is actually Keemstar who he's actually addressing to, saying that he tried to make him kill himself. Because the thing is that if his YouTuber was going through a bad time, and Keemstar didn't help, Keemstar, as we all know, Keemstar's a very controversial YouTuber. And pretty much he basically did this, and he caused FuzzyTube to have this breakdown. As well as another YouTuber who he caused to have a breakdown called Bashir. I think Bashir or Bashir? And what happened was that Bashir did a video and basically we got very serious vibes that he was going to commit suicide. And what Kingstar did in response to this was pretty much this right here. Like you can clearly tell he's not right in the head. Like I feel like this dude is gonna try to kill himself so I get in trouble. Like I can see this dude sitting there rationalizing in his head, you know what I'll do? I'll kill myself and then Keemstar will be in a world of trouble. Keemstar asked himself, how will this person's suicide affect me? Not can I help this person, but how their suicide would affect me. He only cared about himself. Very similarly to how Saint Gloriana only cared about himself. Saint Gloriana is also very Old Testament. He does not forgive people at all, like, ever. So when something happened between Devis and him, one small, tiny hiccup between Devis and Saint Gloriana, and pretty much, he did nothing at all to offer him redemption. He immediately casted him, at, him out, and he fucking smited him. I don't know what they fell out over, and I see it as pointless. <laughs> I saw it all as pointless. All the fucking drama is pointless. I mean, what did you do that for? Because you're that insecure that you had to do it? Also, let's also talk about another time when he decided it was a good idea to destroy Pravda's channel before it even got off the ground. And I know a lot of people are going to say, OC, you can't really destroy a channel. But the fact is, he actually did fuck up Pravda's channel. Because I'm going to tell you about something which isn't actually known to anyone, hardly. Because I had the chance to work with St. Gloriana. And this was in Potential History's Girls and Panzer Death Finale Part 1 video that me and St. Gloriana were in. Now before, when I first turned up onto the scene of GUP, there was drama between Pravda and St. Gloriana that somehow I ended up getting fucking roped into because I was in Pravda's server and basically St. Gloriana saw that as treacherous and I betrayed him and all that shit. But then I basically fucking said, no, you fucking idiot. I'm trying to organize a Shenshida tournament, which we did on our channels. We did later in November and everyone's going to realize, oh shit, wait, you were the one responsible? Yes, I was the one who fucking organized it and got it working. So you guys are welcome for that, by the way. Because the thing is, St. Gloriana didn't organise it, Pravda didn't organise it, I organised it. I made it happen. However, Calvin did have beef with Pravda later on by December of 2018. When I was in Spain, because I remember it was near Christmas, I was in Spain fucking chillaxing on my fucking bed like a motherfucker. Now, why bring up Pravda? Well, it's simple, because... Here's where it gets interesting, and this is why I always had a fear of St. Gloriana. This is going to explain my fear of St. Gloriana. Now, Potential History wanted to make a video involving Girls on Panzer YouTubers, me and St. Gloriana, in his Das Finale video. And he gave us a chance to actually do this. If we look at the emails that I had with Potential History, because, you know, I was completely shocked when he suddenly emailed me out of nowhere. You can see that I held no beef with Pravda and that I basically sort of hinted at wanting Pravda to be in the video. And Pravda was actually going to be in the video. Pravda actually emailed Potential History and asked him to be in the video. You emailed Potential History because you wanted to do a video with him, right? 
Yeah, this was before. I think this was before. This was before the, the DAS finale. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Panzer that he did. And potentially history was considering it, but he wanted to hear from me and Saint Gloriana first, and I was fine with Proud to be in the video. Saint Gloriana, however, was not fine with Proud to be in the video at all. He had drama with Pravda, and of course, he wasn't just going to let this drama slide, no, he was basically going to make sure that Pravda did not get into Potential History's video, no matter what. And this is what happened, because as we all know with hindsight, Pravda never made it to Potential History's video. Even though he could have, but St. Gloriana did not want that to happen, under any circumstance. And did you actually make it into the Das Finale video with Potential History? I don't think so, no. But here's the funny thing, is that St. Gloriana didn't think fucking him over that much wasn't going to be enough. Oh no, St. Gloriana decided it was a good idea to just shit talk Pravda for a good 40 minutes in a live stream. Are you aware of a certain Katusha of Pravda Gaming Academy? Because there is something I need to tell you about that may shock you may give you some hatred to him, even that, and yeah, you're not gonna like it. And he is a YouTuber like me, he took some, he basically took my, uh, my channel as an inspiration to make his own. That's fine and all dandy, however, during the two years that I've known him, I've seen a lot of things that he's done. He's been copying a lot of my stuff, uh, well when I say copy, I mean, very shitly copy my stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, during the recent times I've had him, uh, firstly, I'm not a pussy because I've already proved that I can take you out once. And if you make yourself a new team, that's fine. I, I can beat you again. However, recently, Kuchusha's uh, behavior got out of hand. And, well, when I say that, Devis was trying to get Katusha to be training. However, Katusha never went to training because he was too busy playing Roblox. Oh yeah, a game totally not uh, not worthy of training, just playing Roblox better than playing War Thunder. Because totally his channel is not on the line at this point, his reputation. Basically, Katusha is now being a, very, a big cunt. He's also being very paranoid about one thing. He thinks that I have spies in his server, which I clearly not, because A, I'm a much bigger YouTuber than him, so I don't care about his stuff, um, nor do I care the fact that I really don't give two shits about what you do on that server. Brainwashing, Katusha. Are you retarded? How can I brainwash people? Are you hearing, are you hearing this, guys? Katusha thinks that I could I brainwash people. That is ludicrous. I'm a regular YouTuber trying to make content for you guys to enjoy. And he claims that I'm brainwashing people. Oh, in all honesty, this is a load of crap and rubbish. He's gone delusional. He's gone. He needs a counselor. He needs more than counseling. He needs a therapist and everything. Like seriously, that is ridiculous how he thinks both me and Devis and other people think that um, I'm brainwashing people. Which is why I had decided already that like, even earlier on after the, the match, the first century ago match against him, I did not want to speak with him ever again. And then he comes back to me, he wants another rematch. And I'm like, I'm done with you. I'm, I'm literally done with I don't want to engage with you in any shape or form with any content whatsoever. I've all and the drama that I've been having with him, it's just out of hand. Like he hates the British. Because, you know <sighs> Honestly, Katusha, if you are watching this, do yourself a favor, mate. Clear out your head for God's sake. Stop being so fucking, or, I'm actually going to say this, autistic about this. You think you don't have autism. I think you need to recheck that. You're literally being paranoid by everything. How does, not, how does being paranoid not consider you being autistic?
from all this I've had to say, you know, with Katusha and whatnot, if you are subscribed to him, please unsubscribe. He's not worth your time. <sighs> I'm actually going to say, yeah. Also, another thing about Katusha, he thinks that he, he doesn't even know about the, you know, the North, uh, Kim Jong-un and the whole Donald Trump meeting. So, if you want to say the problem is true, are you sure about that? Like, do you say that? But, but all I'm saying is, Katusha is literally a twat. An autistic twat. Who does not care about anything, only for himself. He is the biggest ego I've ever seen next to old Devis. And the thing is, he sort of did the exact same shit with me. He did it during the Asian situation, he did it when I randomly said hi to him, and then fucking all sorts of shit happened. He's in the stream chat. And I can't hear this. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, come on! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> yeah, I'm just not. I'm just gonna not get involved in that one. Yeah, let's not get involved. Let's just keep doing what we're doing and having fun. Isn't I? And then his fucking staff decided to get involved. Can I just say that we see the wear boo brainlet? Uh, no. Ow. No. I okay. I started a lot of drama with OC. To be fair, what's like a little bit more to add? And I was just so like. The fuck? You know, I'm trying to be friendly and you're being a cunt. On a side note, he also does not like to be viewed negatively or have anything that he sees as making him look bad. This was shown with my Spongebob Girls and Panzer YouTuber meme video that I did in which I compared several Spongebob scenes to Girls and Panzer YouTubers. Now, did Calvin like the hard effort of the video that I made that took a few days to make, a few days of hard work? No, Calvin didn't. He said that this clip here basically made him look bad. Bossy depictions of a higher standard of living. This guy's so rich, he has a swimming pool in his swimming pool. This guy's got shoes. I mean, how the fuck does it make you look bad? The fact that you skipped over two memes prior to this one coming up goes to show just how much of an ignorant human being you are. Even potential history liked the fucking video. And after I made the video, he started to make demands towards me that I never mentioned Sengorana on my channel again, I never did any memes of him, I never fucking did anything that involved Sengorana and his channel. Even though I'd been doing it prior, before, and the reason was because I didn't want him to look bad. That was the reason, because the fact is apparently I was making him look bad, because apparently I caused him to like lose 50 million subscribers, and I caused his entire channel to almost fall off a cliff into the black abyss of the unknown, because I decided to go and do a little meme video involving Spongebob Fleddy Squarepants. And when I refused to give in to his demands, he blocked me. And his excuse for blocking me, he kept me blocked for a while, and his excuse for blocking me was because, right, you ready? It was because he was tired and I was annoying him. That was his reasons for blocking me. I was trying to discuss business, and he was tired, it was late at night for him, and basically I was annoying him. Now he lives at Australian time, which is far fucking behind my time. It was one o'clock for me, motherfucker. One o'clock in the fucking morning, and I was talking to you. So don't even fucking tell me that it was late, because let me tell you something, mate. Fucking wasn't late by fucking your demands. He also appears to be very aggressive and hostile towards any channel that has less subscribers than him in the Girls and Panzer community. And he basically treats them like shit because of this. He did it with All Stars, which was a YouTube channel which tried to get off the ground, but of course they decided to quit in the end because of basically the fucking toxic environment that St. Guarana did fucking bring. And he also shows signs of ignorance towards Jacosta channel, the fucking Finnish one, which is Spanish. My best bet for this is that he is very insecure about the position that he is currently in. He wants to remain on top because that is how he sees himself as being the dominating Girls and Panzer YouTuber and the dominating Girls and Panzer factor. And pretty much he wants to be number one, which I don't blame him. But of course, you know, competition to him needs to be fucking taken out, doesn't it? And that's fine, Calvin. I mean, if you want to be the fucking top dog of the Girls and Panzer community on YouTube, go ahead. Be it. That's fine. You can be the fucking top guy. Because it's one thing 
to be the top dog of the Gills and Panzer community, but it's a whole nother thing to be a child groomer and masturbate in a VC with a 15 year old. Just to repeat that again so that people know. Just remind them. <laughs> also another thing is that some people are also going to say about how I do drama, which is sort of true, I have been involved in drama and I am a bit of a naughty boy. And currently there sort of is a drama going on between me and Bompel. Yeah. To which I say, Bompel, I am very sorry about what I said in the video when I returned to the Gills and Panzer community. I should not have said that about the Polish people. Turns out that in hindsight the Polish people are great people. The nation of Poland is a great nation. And that the Polish was a major contribution in several key battles during the Second World War. Including, but not limited to, the Battle of Britain, the Battle of Matic Casino, and the liberation of Europe. And everyone's going to be wondering, what the fuck do you just do? Well, the thing is that some people would say, Oh, but you've got drama with Bumpel, and that's the one drama that you have. But the thing is, I've cleared up every single drama I've been involved in. Blake's done. Azen done. Dream Server done. The only thing I had left was Bumpel, because they wanted to continue it. But they did give me an offer a deal and they basically said that if I was to apologise and also I have removed that part from the video by the time that this video is uploaded. But the point is that basically I'm showing that pretty much I can fucking end drama. So you can say, oh you've got drama with no one. I don't have drama with Pravda. Don't have drama with Prob Bumple anymore because obviously we worked out peace deal. And yeah, pretty much all the drama is gone. Except the one between me and you, St. Cloriana. But don't worry, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be that hard to win against someone who sexually grooms a 15 year old in a VC! Uh, uh. Don't you know who the fuck I am? I will cook you like my cat when I am finished with you. Uh, shut up. I have the right to defend myself here. What about the other people? What about the people who you betrayed? The people that you stabbed in the back? Did they have a right? Or did they even have a chance? I have the people on my side. What do you do? Nothing. I have evidence here that proves what you have been doing. Your evidence is lies because the truth is what? I say it is. Rude of it yourself. Not to mention the sins that you have been doing. It does not matter what people are told. They will believe me because I have more subscribers. They will never side with you. And what about the other stuff? What about the three suspected people that you groomed? I have no idea what you are talking about. Well then, allow me to jog your memory. Ah no, what are you doing? Chin chan chan bing ding dong bing. She's gone then. You're not accustomed to not getting what you want, are you, Tommy? And yet, it's funny. Everybody around here, they, they want you to win this battle. I think what it is. You're bad men, but you're our bad men. Will you go looking for her? She's in the past. The past is not my concern. Saint Gloriana is very entitled. Calvin is so entitled that he thinks he is entitled to basically everything and anything. He believes that he is entitled to British stuff, with his argument being that if you believe that you are British, you are British, and that he copied British Tiabu school from Girls and Panzer, so that automatically gives him the right and the entitlement to. And he's going to argue about his old Tiabuism. But the point that you deny being a Tiabu goes to show that you are a fucking Tiabu. You're gonna deny it, I know you're gonna deny it, but you literally are a Tiabu. People argue that I'm a Tiabu, but there's a distinct difference. You see, because it's a bit like a Weeaboo. That's what a Tiabu is. A Tiabu is a bit like a Weeaboo. 
they believe that British is amazing and all this stuff, but they're not actually British. I'm actually British. I'm actually English, but we don't we don't talk about that. But the thing is, and everyone's going to be like, oh, that's why. Yeah, it's it's complicated with me. I'm I'm half and half, half breed. But the fact that you deny being a Tibu yet you don't have a British citizenship proves that you are a fucking Tibu. The fact that you've got St. Granite and all this shit plastered all over your channel, the fact that you fucking British tanks and all this shit and you just smear it everywhere proves that you are a fucking Tibu. You act like us, well no you don't act like us, you pretend to act like us, you pretend to talk like us, you pretend to do anything like us, but in reality you, you are nothing like us. This entitlement that he has was presented in the past when he made a comment about Theresa May and her Brexit plan, which is British politics. If you don't know Theresa May, she's an old prime minister that we had. It's it's very we we're not going to go there. But the thing is that he was against her Brexit plan, which is one thing to say, but it's wrong to say that in the first place, because you are not entitled to an opinion about British politics because you are not a British citizen. You are an Australian citizen. So your entitlement is only limited to a fucking land down under. That is it. Nowhere else. Where women go and men plunder or whatever the fuck they do down there. You are not entitled to anything about Britain or her politics whatsoever. Okay, and before anyone says, oh, well, how can you say this, OC? How can you speak on behalf of the British people? Okay, I'll provide you some evidence of this. Because in the year 2016, when I was 15, in 2016, there was a vote for this thing called Brexit. And the British people had a vote of whether foreigners were entitled to an opinion or not. Whether foreigners could tell us what we can and can't do. Whether foreign laws could constrain us or not. Because that is what Brexit is viewed And A lot of people are going to go, hang on a sec, oh, see, I was told something else. You, you were probably told something by some fucking foreigner. That's a fact. You were probably told by the European Parliament that Brexit is a bad thing. But the point is, Brexit is a source of pride. Brexit isn't just a simple trade deal, it's not just a trade deal, it's much more than that. Brexit is about the British people and the British race itself. And the fact is we voted to be British because we are British, we're not Europeans. I'll never fucking say I'm a European because we're not European, we're fucking British. We made the British Empire and we filled it full of British people. And if you look at the result of Brexit, as we can see, a majority of the British people, including me, because some people argue saying that I didn't vote for Brexit, but here's the thing, because I made sure, I was that determined to make sure that Brexit happened. During the European elections, I voted for the Brexit party, which was the last British European elections, where the Brexit party won by a landslide, which was amazing. And then I voted during the general election, I voted for Boris Johnson instead of Jeremy Corbyn. And Boris Johnson is a great Prime Minister. Some people argue differently, but the thing is, here's the irony behind it. Because of Brexit, we were able to get our vaccine out before fucking for COVID, before the European could. So suck on that. So don't fucking come at me saying Brexit's a bad thing, because Brexit allowed the fucking two QE class fucking aircraft carriers to be built. Because otherwise, it would have had fucking happened. We wouldn't have had the funding. And the fact is, we were given like 320 billion a week to the fucking European Union, which we could have put into our NHS instead. Because I saw it on the side of a fucking bus. And all that, but the fact that people associate him with my country is just stupid and wrong. Because he gives us British people a very bad name. He drinks Twining's rose tea, which isn't what we fucking drink. We don't drink rose tea because I went to France, right? And a Frenchman offered me a cup of tea and he fucking gave me rose tea. And I looked at this frog bastard and I said to him, that's not fucking tea, mate. You know, we don't drink Twinings or fucking Twinnings or any of that fucking shit. We drink Tetley, PG or Yorkshire if you're from the North. But Yorkshire tea is shit. I don't care what people say, it's fucking disgusting. I drink PG because of a fucking monkey and Johnny fucking Vegas. That's the only reasons why I fucking drink that shit. He also thinks that we all like Top Gear in this country, which we fucking don't. The only good thing that Paddy McGuinness was in is Take Me Out and Phoenix Knights and Max and Paddy, which I could not believe Peter Kay was in. Peter Kay is amazing. That's what we fucking watch. We watch Peter Kay in Britain. We don't fucking watch Top Gear all the fucking time. And my point here is pretty much that basically he isn't British. He is a foreigner, so he's not actually really entitled to an opinion. Truth be told, he thinks Britain 
is his ally, when he merely adopted Britain. Me, however, I was born in Britain, moulded by Britain. Weapons out, boys, and load them up. Take your time. Hold them up in the air so they can see what we've got. All guns and no balls, right, Billy boy? So what do we do now? Just give the order. However, he is not only limited to being entitled to British stuff. Oh no, he is in fact entitled to Girls and Panzer stuff as well, apparently. Because his YouTube channel's name is the name of the fucking school from Girls and Panzer, he believes that he is a big part of Girls and Panzer. He pretends to be one of the characters from the show, despite the fact that he fucking looks nothing like the character and looks like a shit version of Rice Gum. And the fact is that he's even fucking making me hate a character that I like. I used to like Rosette, but now every time I look at this fucker, I think of fucking rice gum. So now it's fucking horrible for me. He also gets offended if you don't know who he is. This was perfectly demonstrated in Amino Apps in the Gills and Panzer community there. And a lot of people are going to be like, what the hell is Amino Apps? And this is when St. Gloriana sort of hides and goes, oh dear, oh dear, he knows about that. Yes, I fucking know about that. You see, because Amino Apps was a company that was sort of like a social media thing, but they basically sponsored St. Gloriana to do a sponsorship on his channel. And then St. Gloriana decided to go to the Girls and Panzer community there on Amino Apps, because there was a Girls and Panzer community where Girls and Panzer fans talked to each other. And he turned up and some people didn't know who he was. And because he turned up and people didn't know who he was, well, he took highly to that. And after a slight scuffle there, he decided to post a trap pic of himself there, which is now being deleted because he basically pretty much got attacked and trolled by the Girls from Panzer community on the Mino apps, which is quite fucking funny <laughs> because of what happened. But that's the thing, if you go around with the ego the size of a fucking battleship and claim to be the god of a fucking community, which you are not, then you're gonna get shit. It's a fact. And it's true. St. Gloriana does have a fucking ego that is so fucking big. It has gotten bigger over the years. And the thing is, St. Gloriana even threatens to cut people out of the community. Threatens to cut people out of Girls and Panzer. And he has done this before in the past. He's pretty much done it with me. He's going to deny it and then he's going to say, Oh, because you made this video attacking me, I banish ye from the Girls and Panzer community. <laughs> You know, even though you've, you've fucking got nothing here, mate. you got fucking nothing. But the point is, that's fine. If you want to fucking banish me from the community, that's fine. At least I don't go around masturbating in VC with 15-year-olds. Uh, uh, uh. And the thing is that he has done this with me, with Pravda, and with anyone who has as much as a different a fucking opinion than him. He will do this. Because if you have a different opinion than him, you're pretty much insulting the fucking god here. Because that's how much you fucked up if you have a different opinion to him. And he will fuck you up. And let's talk about the time when your crap got deleted by Bandai. Now, after Das Finale Part 2 was released of Girls and Panzer, me and St. Gloriana made crack videos. As we know, I made crack video number 15. I got my crack video out before him. And what happened was that due to copyright of Bandai being a cunt, because Bandai is a cunty company, they basically deleted mine and St. Gloriana's crack videos. And St. Gloriana begged on Twitter for his crack video to be back. And you know what? At the time we had drama over Blake because we had the Blake situation sort of. It was, you know, there. And I was banned from St. Gloriana at the time, so you know, you can see. I could have left him to beg to Team YouTube to get his video back. But what I decided to do was that I decided to tag Team YouTube and tag him and help him get his video back. I decided to take the drama that I had against St. Gloriana and push it to one side 
and work towards a common goal. Because I want because I'm not a fucking heartless cunt. I'm not a heartless cunt, okay? Because I understand the amount of effort that single Ryan would have put into that video. One day's work. Because he likes to brag about how he can make it in one day. But still, it's a day's work. So I know that feeling when you work so hard to get something and you make it and then it gets fucking taken away because of bullshit reasons. I understand that. And obviously because I did that, he actually got his video back. He got it back. Now, what does Sanguana do to return the favour for me? He does jack fucking shit. He does nothing to get my video back. Despite the fact that I did what I could to get his video back. He didn't help me appeal it to Team YouTube, despite me doing this. And that video is still deleted to this day on my channel. But that's fine, I mean, you can claim to be the fucking boss of the Girls and Panzer community. But in reality, you're nothing to Girls and Panzer. Nothing at all. You don't write the show. You don't direct it. You don't voice any of the characters. You don't do any of the animation. You don't produce it. You don't do nothing to do with the show whatsoever, apart from just make fucking silly YouTube videos. That's a fact. And you know what? I do the exact same thing. I just make silly YouTube videos as well. But hey, at least I'll admit it. And if there's also another thing, it's the fact that the community doesn't have to do shit because of how many fucking subscribers you have. Okay? You can claim to be the fucking god of this community and have the ego and whatever. But that's fine. As long as I don't masturbate in a VC with an underage 15 year old, that's perfectly fine. It was enough to be like this, Kimber. <laughs> Too late for all that. You bit off more than you can chew, you little toe rag, and now I'm going to take over this shit hole. Well, we have to use guns. Let's use proper guns. Sergeant Thorne, reporting for duty, sir. You were saying something about being outgunned. Now, I don't think there is any better way to inflate your own ego than what you stated in the 25k Q&A video. Well, I do have several YouTubers that have followed me and started their own channel. Whether it's from my Girls and Panzer Cracks, or my War Thunder content, or my Train Simulator, you'll eventually find some inspiration to kickstart your own YouTube career. Now, the fact that you think that you inspire people to make content for the Girls and Panzer community just goes to show how much of a narrow-minded, fucking egotistical mind that you have. You didn't inspire fucking anyone to make any content, and that's a fact. You didn't inspire Pravda to make content. In fact, you fucking ruined his chances of trying to get out there in the first place. And by stunting his YouTube growth, you goes to show the fucking opposite instead. Also, another thing that I want to make very clear, and I want this, to be made very clear. You did not make my fucking channel. No matter how much you try and make people believe it, you fucking did not. You had no inspiration towards my channel whatsoever. You had no impact on my channel. I made a crack video two years before you made your first crack video. So don't even fucking bring that shit up. Don't say that you inspired me to make Girls and Panzer crack. Because you fucking did not. And in fact, my actual recent growth of my channel is due to Azalane. It's not due to Gills and Panzer. A lot of people are going around saying, St. Gloriana, you were inspired by St. Gloriana. You, you need to owe St. Gloriana to your fucking popularity. No, because Azalane got me more subscribers than Gills and Panzer, mate. That's a fact. I had close to 3,000 subscribers due to Gills and Panzer, whilst Azalane got me to 10,000 subscribers and over. So, there we fucking go. If you actually want to see someone who did inspire me, then you can look at Crackworks2, who is a very underrated Girls and Panzer YouTuber. They're, they're technically not a Girls and Panzer YouTuber because they're not around anymore. But they are incredibly underrated because they are the first person who actually properly made a Girls and Panzer Crack video. I know some people say Focus as well, and Focus, yes, he did pioneer that, but the thing is that his Crack videos are done differently in his own niche. But he actually, Crackworks 2 did a crack video to the point that it actually is a crack video. It's just a mishmash of bits, like a robot chicken episode. That's the actual true pioneer of Girls and Panzer Crack. Crackworks 2. And actually, here's a funny thing. 
he was the first person to make Girls and Panzer Crack. And if you look at the upload date of his video, you can see this. But also, if you look at the upload date of his first video, and you look in the comment section, you'll see a certain someone in the comment section, near the top, a certain YouTube channel. And this was before St. Gloriana started making any Girls and Panzer Crack. But the thing is that it was actually his videos that actually paved the way to my crack, not yours. So please stop fucking saying that you inspired me because you fucking didn't. You did not. End of story. No matter how many times you fucking say it, it's not going to be true. In fact, ironically, people don't even have Girls and Panzer crack videos to make because the fact is the Girls and Panzer is that fucking milk. There is hardly any content to go around. The fact is that I had to give up at 20 because I just know what's going to happen if I continue. It's just going to be shit. That's all it's going to be. It's just going to be fucking Girls and Panzer fucking low quality shit memes. And I do not want that on my channel, which is why I'm stopping at 20. His ego also allows him to be unable to collab with any Girls and Panzer YouTubers. He's going to argue that he does collab with Girls and Panzer YouTubers and he's going to say, I collaborate with Potential History and Iron Armenian and bigger YouTubers than me because, you know, I want to get as much subscribers as I can in clout, which makes complete sense. It makes complete sense, doesn't it? You know, to go and work with bigger YouTubers. And the thing is that he's actually only ever done one proper Girls and Panzer collaboration, and that was with the tournament which I organized, the Shenzhou tournament, and then that was it. Because I did approach him for a second tournament because I was going to, you know, make it even bigger and better. Because obviously, due to the first tournament, we had people coming in. We had All Stars suddenly appear. We had Jacosia. We had a few people appearing here and there. And that was when we decided to start actually, you know. However, St. Gloriana did not want to be part of this. Didn't want to be involved with it. And it was quickly, after the first match, it was quickly scrubbed. Gone. Finished. That was it. The fact is I wanted to do something fucking amazing. I really did. I really wanted to collaborate with other Gills and Panzer YouTubers. I wanted to do so much for this fucking community. But in the end I couldn't. Well, I still can. I still can. And that is my plan. <laughs> because the fact is it doesn't exactly work like. Because the fact is you think I'm getting thrown out of the Gills and Panzer community. The fact that he's done very few collabs with other Girls and Panzer YouTubers goes to show it. Not me, or Pravda, or Toko, or anyone. You know, and the fact is I've actually done collaboration videos with Pravda, so I've done collaboration streams with Pravda. And I will be doing collaboration streams with Pravda. I and think Pravda was inspired by... And, you know, Katusha made his channel inspired by me, although, at first, he was stealing content, let's be fair. Although, taking some ideas from mine or other YouTubers and trying to make your own, and... Not really. Did, mm, you do not making cine- I mainly make cinematics now, right? Obviously, in his Q&A, he said that he inspires and makes people do Gills and Panzer stuff. Did he inspire you to make Gills and Panzer content on YouTube? No, I just did it because it's popular. Did he inspire you to make his YouTube channel? No, I actually had a YouTube channel wait like before I even met him. Also, you wanna it. you wanna do another collaboration video? Sure. Yeah, me? why not? We don't fucking we don't have there any reason each other anymore so yeah. there anyway, we go uh, maybe we can do one with just stoker and let me actually teach you something calvin that is what makes a community it's not just one person being in charge of everything it's not just one person basically saying i'm the only one out there it's a group of people working together for a common goal and this was beautifully demonstrated in the Azalin community where i partook in well i partook with several collaboration videos with Classo. But the fact is, I was involved with three major Azalin collaboration videos. One of which was actually basically done by Azalin. It was actually done by the actual company. Because Intern can got into contact with the person who made the first collaboration video. And it pretty much organised the second one. And it was actually done by Azalin themselves. It's a big fucking deal to the Azalin community, just to put that into perspective. It's like, it's like the people who make Girls and Panzer were to basically get you guys to work together. That's, that's what it is. 
But the point is, that's what makes a community. It's not just one person, it's several people working together. And you can say whatever you want about Azalane being shit in comparison to Girls and Panzer. You can say whatever the fuck you want about them being as terrible as, you know, you can say that Cancola's better or High School Fleet or fucking whatever, but at the end of the day, Azalane's the best because it's got the best community out of all of them. Because there's Azalane YouTubers and they work together and they get along fucking fine. And the thing is that they're passionate about it. Just like the other minor Girls and Panzer YouTubers, like the smaller ones, they're passionate about it as well. And the fact is the Girls and Panzer community does not just include you and your fucking five inch cock. That's the fucking truth. And really, I don't think it's good for any Girls and Panzer YouTuber to really come forward and say that they were inspired by someone who sexually groomed an underage 15 year old fan in a VC. Uh, uh. Why should all you men die? It should just be them who's caused it. Get off! Kimber and me for this battle one on one. It's over. If there's one thing to take away from this video, it's that Calvin Hoare, or H O R, or however the fuck you pronounce your fucking name, wants to appear important to the community in some way. He also is very controlling and doesn't like it when people don't do what he tells them to do. He told me not to go after Blake despite the fact that I had every right to. And he also threatens to smite the living fuck out of people from the Girls and Panzer community if they so much as has a different fucking opinion about what they had for breakfast. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is that it actually worked. I was actually scared of St. Gloriana. I was fucking petrified of him because I saw what he did to Pravda. And I saw his sub count and I thought, Jesus fucking Christ, there's no way I could come up with any information against him. If I was to come up with a fucking video exposing him, I'd be fucked. He's got way more fans than me. He'd have a fucking advantage. And the fact is that people will probably believe him over me. I can show him all the evidence I want, but the fact is I'll still believe him. And the fact is that he'll fucking sever me from the Girls of Panzer community, which is something I don't want. Because I never wanted to fucking any drama. But the irony is I got dragged into it. And that's the thing, is that I've shown your true colours. I've shown people the truth. The truth about how you tr treat others and the way in which you treat, you know, YouTubers and the way in which you act and all that. I've fully gone into your personality and I've picked it apart. That's a YouTuber. The second video is when I, well, if I ever make it, will be about you as a person, which gets even it's trickier and you... Gets into even more worse stuff, believe it or not. I have warned people who try and work with you in the future so that they don't get fucked over like I have or that he doesn't try and make them kill themselves to remove competition like he tried with me. So just a fair warning, he does have a tendency to try and make people kill themselves if he doesn't like them. And if you are going to try and remove me from the Gills and Panzer community, then good fucking luck. You are not going to remove me from the Girls and Panzer community, you snake piece of shit. And I've shown you why you're not going to throw me out of the Girls and Panzer community. I'm smarter than you, you can't handle basic criticism, and I've had time and planning on my side. What changed for me was several things on why this video was made. You may have more subscribers and viewers, but at least I'm not a fucking paedophile or a sex pest like you. At least, I don't groom my fucking fans. And I don't want any other YouTuber to be threatened or mistreated like how you've done with me and others. And finally, the biggest reason, I've got nothing to lose. Because you stole my admin. That's gonna end this video here, but there is a small surprise I wanted to add for you guys. Uh, just to show a little something, because obviously people are probably thinking, Oh, obviously this is another hour long rant video that you usually do when you're involved in YouTube drama. What the fuck, OC? Why don't you give us something good? Well, luckily a year ago I planned something in the... In which in a way, stuff between me and Singler would break down as I planned with every other, you know, I planned evidence against pretty much every other person such as Pravda, Devis, and so on, 
you know. And surprisingly, St. Gloria Island is actually the biggest out of everyone put together, which is quite ironic, um, really. And the fact is, I could make a second video, and I am planning on making a second video, which is going to be more damaging to his actual channel's reputation and his channel's future than this video, because we've only got the long case of the freaking grooming. We don't have the other cases present in this video now, do we? So, there we fucking go. But of course, you guys wanted something, so I'm gonna give you something, and basically, pretty much, I hope you enjoy this next part of the video. But no, if, if, if I ever did, like, if I ever did an argument, had a full-on hated rose I wouldn't upload that, I would have just done a diss track. I know that sounds stupid. That's not a bad idea. Well, we're finally here. Perhaps we can have a peace deal. Well, it's too late for that now. It's your actions. You face the consequences. The GAP community will not stand for this. I am far more important than you to them. Well, we've had enough of your shit now. It's time to meet Maggie. What do you mean, meet Maggie? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Don't you to me. All no forces, body in the water. I repeat, there's a body in the water. Prepare a man overboard. Send all available forces. Send in the RLNI. Send in the Navy. Send in the... Oh, fuck. Yo, what's up? It's OC Gangster. Here to take out the Sengwana Cancer. Rose up is a fucking beautiful disaster. About to be ended by the drama ending master. You got so big and made sacks. Yeah. Your friends are terrified to tell you about your whack. Yeah. Your ego's over the max. Yeah. I think this guy's a sociopath. What? Calvin, let's talk about you. You started this drama, so what the fuck are you gonna do? But thankfully, as I can clearly see, you made the other guys. But you didn't make me! You used to make a crack and people would laugh. You say shoving dead memes are actually naff. You should have never betrayed this fan. Local for better film this, cause I just killed a man! You're not so bastard to keep on running. Well, too bad for you, cause the British are coming. Attention to your guy who reeks of his security. Need to put by mods who lack in maturity. Looking at a fucking face like that? In the mid outfit like a cross dressing twat? You have the personality of a wet flannel. Goose pants is the only thing saving your channel. You accuse me starting all the drama when you're the one who's gonna get fucked by karma. Goes jerks off to his kids in his VC. Allow him to come real easy. <laughs> and your life sucks. Can't be fun. Look like a shirt vision of rice gum. And the way you treat others is just obscene. Wait, Calvin, stop. He's only 15. <laughs> oh, you thought I was done with you, was it, boy? Oh, no. I've been waiting a year to release the second verse. Yo, these people ain't ready! You ready, Ozzy boy? Prepare your fucking anus. I'm not using any protection, so let's go! Ozzy boy trying to get involved. Come on then, come on, let's get involved, you prick. Ozzy boy don't wanna rap. Hmm. Ozzy boy don't wanna scrap. Hmm. Ozzy boy about to get clapped by the end of the bitch. You're gonna wish you never did that, wish you never hit that. Trans Ozzy boy's gonna feel it when I hit it with a click, 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 clack. You ain't part of this group, nah. You ain't British Fruit Loop, nah. Deciding when to be a Brit man. Well, you're too busy producing all the cracks and then making racks and spend all that shit on. And I rose up a scat. I don't know that you're listening, beginning to sweat. Aussie boy not like an innocent or cause you wanna be relevant Oh god Made world's my country so you know I'm in my element I'm in my element Call me whatever you want Still looking up to me Fuck's sake Gave the community my cracks Oh cause you needed the memes for me Yeah bitch, I was the come up I'm the foundation for you to go run up Keep playing war for you growing fuck You're a pedophile Fuck At least you know how to suck Oh shit Why don't you go eat some duck Why do you have the balls to challenge me You're my little Australian bitch colony You crashed the circuit a few months ago You're incompetent fuck just learn to drive flow How many girls have you fucked in your life? None That's mad Calvin's forehead's mad When you ask the skeptic to go give your head His reply is which one? Your dad is a weirdo, he looks just like a pedo More inbred than yeast, your mum gets fucked by sheep You fuck a dildo, fam is really that deep Sorry bitch but I said it, Ozzy boy now regret it <laughs> You want to start beef with me? Huh? You want to start beef with me? Get a British citizenship you fucking idiot Hey, hey. Ay, ay, not today, Aussie boy, ay, ay, 